If you are thinking of ways to improve fertility, you've got to think about both partners. We are so concerned about women or the people with uteruses and ovaries, but up to 50% of the time in couples that are having infertility, there's a male factor component. Watch this video to learn five tips for improving male fertility. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist helping people build families for almost 20 years. And so much of my counseling is teaching and learning and understanding just how important men are to the fertility equation. They often get left out. Um, unfortunately, that includes some research when it comes to fertility, but we've learned so much in the past 20 years when I have been practicing and I'm excited to share with you some five important tips tips for learning how to improve male fertility. Let's get started. So I have lots of videos here on male factor fertility, um, tips on interpreting a semen analysis, how to prepare for a semen analysis, and you've seen my video probably on five things to stop doing if you want to improve sperm parameters and male fertility. This video is focusing on five things that you should do in order to improve your fertility. So tip number one, maintain a healthy weight. Now listen, of course people can be fertile at many different weights, but obesity can definitely harm male fertility in three main ways. Number one, physically, just the increase in temperature. So testicles are held outside of the body. They're supposed to be two to three degrees below body temperature. And when they are heated up, that can decrease sperm production, function, motility, et cetera. The second way that obesity can impact male fertility is just hormonal changes. So there's a lot of estrogen and fat cells when you're very obese, that estrogen testosterone balance can get out of whack and it can really impact sperm production and function. And finally, the third way obesity can impact male fertility is through multiple factors like changes in insulin resistance, metabolic changes, increased oxidative stress, which can decrease the function of sperm, which is made every single day. So physically increased heat, hormonally changes and lower testosterone levels, and then just inflammation, excess stress, oxidative stress, all of these different changes associated with obesity can impact male factor fertility. So maintaining a healthy weight can be really helpful. Tip number two, eat a healthy diet. So it's not just maintaining a healthy weight, you've gotta eat foods that are improving and good for sperm production and male factor fertility. So plenty of studies show that diets high in red meat, processed foods, fast foods are not helpful for our fertility and diets that are high in fresh fruits and vegetables, less processed foods, especially a Mediterranean diet can be really helpful for male factor fertility. Tip number three, manage stress. We live in a stressful environment. We are constantly under work stress, family stress. Uh, when you are trying to conceive that is full of stress, we can't eliminate stress, but we can manage it. So acute stress absolutely increases cortisol levels, throws off our hormonal access, uh, throws off testosterone production, and it can throw off fertility. Chronic stress too can lead to impacts in metabolic changes, oxidative stress, and truly impact sperm production and function. Again, you cannot stress about being stressed. I really understand that bringing this up often makes people tense. Again, we can't eliminate stress, but we can work really hard on ways to manage it and improve our recovery from stressful events. So I know stress is a subjective thing sometimes and people can absolutely conceive in the middle of war and famine and very stressful events, but there is just no question that high levels of stress, acute stress can really impact our overall health. And if our overall health is impacted, our reproductive health is gonna be impacted. So find ways to manage stress. And this doesn't have to be one-on-one -on -one therapy, even though that's absolutely amazing if possible for you. Um, sometimes it can be group sessions where you're kind of sharing stories about infertility, sharing ways that have helped. Mindfulness can be helpful. Um, exercise, finding things that you enjoy and having things to look forward to are all solid ways of managing stress. And I hope this is helpful. Tip number four, get moving. 
regular exercise can improve male factor fertility. This is an excellent review study looking at over 300 different studies on exercise and sperm parameters or exercise and time to pregnancy and men showed that moderate intensity for cardiovascular exercise like jogging, running, as well as resistance training are the most beneficial for reproductive health benefits in men. Um, there's no one recommendation from each study. Everyone does it a little bit differently. I think the thing that I saw the most in the studies is cardiovascular or moving exercise, even if it's just a brisk walk, 30 minutes three times a week at a minimum can be very helpful. Exercise helps our mental health. It helps us sleep better. Sleeping better helps with our metabolic um, communication, our hormonal communication, decreases inflammation. So just moving your body can be very helpful for sperm function and fertility. And tip number five, increase antioxidants. So this can be in the form of food or even some supplements with a big warning when it comes to supplements. But oxidative stress or free radicals that come from a lot of our cellular function in our body can absolutely impact fast moving cells, fast growing cells, which are sperm. Sperm is made every single day. And every day that sperm is made, you're reading DNA. And the more oxidative stress, the more free radicals that are surrounding the DNA when it is being read, it can increase fragmentation and increase the function and production of sperm. So antioxidants can really clean up those free radicals um, and improve the function of sperm at a DNA level. Um, you can get antioxidants in a lot of foods, mainly fresh fruits and veggies, especially leafy greens, as far as fruits, especially berries. But there's some fun studies and randomized control trials and the benefits of walnuts. So walnuts can improve sperm function and functionality. Um, I will make sure and link this review study in the description below. It talks about a couple of the trials that showed that eating about 2.5 ounces of walnuts every day, which is about 30 half pieces of a walnut, will improve sperm parameters pretty dramatically compared to people that were not eating the walnuts. Walnuts are the nuts that have the highest proportion of polyunsaturated fats. And this reduces lipid perioxidation, so another source of oxidative stress. So eat your walnuts, eat your berries, eat your veggies. These are all wonderful foods for improving male fertility. As far as supplements are concerned, listen, studies vary. Supplements absolutely vary, but antioxidants are vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin A, selenium, zinc, um, and coenzyme Q10. So I am not telling you to go out and buy a huge shelf full of supplements. And please be careful when you're buying supplements because it is a $200 billion industry. And most of that money is spent on marketing and sort of making claims for it. Most supplements are not screened by the FDA. The FDA considers them food. And so it's not like buying a prescription medication where you know what's in the prescription bottle is what is in the pill that you are taking, supplements are very different. So I have a video here on how to find safer supplements. Be careful. Supplements cannot substitute for the other things we talked about, like good nutrition, moving your body, maintaining a healthy weight, managing stress. So supplements are not the end all be all, but I tell my patients uh, I consider just a good multivitamin, vitamin D, because I practice in Seattle and 85% of people in the state of Washington are vitamin D deficient. So it's um, not enough just to take the multivitamin for my patients. I have them take extra vitamin D. And I do talk about coenzyme Q10. So coenzyme Q10 is an antioxidant that has been associated with improved sperm parameters. It's not in most multivitamins. Um, and the studies have shown anywhere from 100 to 300 milligrams of coenzyme Q10 daily has improved sperm parameters and function. I think something that's important, and it's in the study, I'll link in the description here, is that the taking of coenzyme Q10 and a lot of the studies did not improve pregnancy rates or live birth rates. Um, and so it, it's great that it's proving the sperm. Uh, maybe the studies just needed to last longer or things like that, but I just want to give you like 
uh, studies vary. Some studies are very pro supplements and other studies are like, these are really not very helpful. Pros and cons, do not go out and buy a whole shelf full of supplements. Do You don't have to spend on the most expensive supplements because sometimes you're just spending on the marketing. Uh, but in general for men, a multivitamin, vitamin D, and coenzyme Q10. And the multivitamin will have the vitamin A, E, C, and a lot of other antioxidants that we mentioned. So talk to your doctor about your personal situation when it comes to supplements. More is not necessarily better, and you really need to be careful about which ones you are buying. So please see in the description links to all the studies that were mentioned and pictured here, because I want to make sure you can find those resources. Um, and let's review the five tips that we talked about today in order to improve male factor fertility. So in summary for this video today, if you're a couple that is trying to conceive, do not forget about male factor and the person with the sperm, making sure that their health is optimized because the healthier you are, the more reproductively healthy you're gonna be. The five things that we focused on today are number one, maintaining a healthy weight. Number two, thinking about your nutrition. Number three, moving your body and exercise. Number four, managing stress. And number five, think about antioxidants in the form of food and maybe some supplements. Be sure and talk to your doctor before you start taking anything. I hope you learned something today. Like this video if you learned something. Comment with questions that you have. Be sure and subscribe to this channel so you get my weekly video on reproductive health. And as always, wishing you love, luck, and pineapples.